The capture of Nicaea was one of the initial victories of the Crusaders during the First Crusade. Located in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, the city was an important stronghold of the Seljuk Turks and a significant milestone on the route to Jerusalem. Nicaea was surrounded by high fortified walls and had a lake providing a natural barrier on one side, which made a direct assault challenging. The city was well defended, and the Seljuks were confident in their ability to withstand a siege. Moreover, the city was equipped with sufficient food and provisions to survive a lengthy siege, further complicating the Crusaders' task. As the Crusader forces reached Nicaea, they began to set up a siege. Given the strength of the fortifications and the size of the city, they decided against a direct assault. Instead, they chose to starve the city into submission. They divided their forces, with different contingents responsible for blockading different sections of the city, attempting to prevent any aid or supplies from reaching the city. The Crusaders were composed of disparate armies under separate leaders, which could have led to a lack of coordination. Yet, they managed to maintain a surprisingly effective and cohesive blockade around Nicaea. Meanwhile, they had to constantly repel attempts by the Seljuk Turks to break the siege, either from forces sallying from the city or from outside reinforcements. One of the key strategic moves the Crusaders made was to seek assistance from the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Emperor, Alexios the Brand, provided ships to the Crusaders, which they used to block the lakeside of Nicaea, effectively cutting off any potential aid via the lake. The residents of Nicaea, though well prepared, began to feel the effects of the siege as food supplies dwindled and no help seemed forthcoming. They were under tremendous pressure and finally, seeing no other option, they decided to surrender. Interestingly, the city of Nicaea was handed over to the Byzantine forces, not to the Crusaders. Emperor Alexios had joined the Crusaders and assisted in the siege with the understanding that any lands recovered would be returned to his empire. The Crusaders were initially displeased with this outcome, but they eventually accepted it, not least because the Byzantine Empire was an essential ally for their campaign. The capture of Nicaea was a morale booster for the Crusaders. It was a critical early victory, demonstrating the effectiveness of their forces when united and signaling their resolve to the Muslim world. Moreover, the siege provided them with a blueprint for future encounters, blending military might with strategic alliances to overcome formidable obstacles.